us patiently waiting I'm passionately smashing every expectation Every action's an act of creation I'm laughing in the face of casualties of sorrow It's the first time I'm thinking past tomorrow so as you have been uh, hearing us talk about the official opening of Hamilton, the musical in Chicago was last night, but it all started with the book, Alexander Hamilton, that was published back in 2004. Joining us now is the author of that book, Alexander Hamilton, Ron Cherno. He was a historical consultant to the production of the show and joins us this morning. You don't look like a hip hopper to me. <laughs> I'm kind of like an honorary member like of the secret hip -hop agent uh, at this <laughs> hip hopper. Yeah. You must just be completely astounded that you write this biographical piece that has turned Broadway upside down, has turned musical theater upside down, has you know, become and this a This has just been a surreal and dreamlike experience for me. You know, because when I was writing the book, I thought this was the most extraordinary story I had ever come across. It's about an illegitimate, you know, orphaned, impoverished kid in the Caribbean who comes to North America, sets the world on fire, becomes a founding father. And, and as I was writing it, I thought, well, this will probably end up as a feature film uh, or as a television uh, series. What I never imagined oh. was that it would be made into a musical, much less a hip-hop musical. Yeah. When I read the story, I yeah. thought, for some people, this would have just buried them. And yet he excels. Why did he excel where others might have failed? Well, you know, there's some people, when you have adversity, um, you're either toughened by the experience or you're destroyed by the experience. And I think that in the case of Hamilton, it gave him tremendous um, self-confidence and self-reliance that he could, could do this. So this is somebody, he's the classic immigrant, he's the classic uh, outsider. He comes to what was then the North American colonies and he completely reinvents himself. And I think that people are reacting so powerfully to this show because they're very inspired by the idea of the outsider who becomes the ultimate insider. Did Lin-Manuel Miranda contact you and say, I read your book and here's what I want to do with it? Well, what happened, we had a mutual friend who told me that um, uh, Linda had read the book, had a powerful reaction. He was still starring in his first show on Broadway, In the Heights. I met him backstage, and I said, so I gather my book made an impression on you. And Lynn said, Ron, as I was reading the book, hip-hop songs started rising off the page. And then he started saying to me, he said, you know, Hamilton's life is a classic hip-hop narrative. And I was thinking to myself, what on earth is this guy talking about? <laughs> 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 Did you have any reservations about this? at all. I mean, you're a, a serious historian. And what are they doing to my book? I mean, was there it's ever a, a moment like It's a very question, because a lot of people have uh, said to me, gee, that took a certain amount of courage to sign on to something that seemed so experimental and even outlandish at the time. It didn't seem difficult uh, at the time to make the decision, because I was hearing the songs as Lynn was writing them. And they were so compelling, and they were so uh, ingenious uh, that... I fell in love with it, but it was very difficult all the years we were working on this to explain to friends that this idea, which seemed like the worst single idea in musical <laughs> theater history, a hip hop musical about Alexander Hamilton, it was very difficult to explain to people, you know, oh no, no, this is really rather terrific. You're so, right, it does sound like a punchline at Saturday Night Live or something. It was like you ever see the producers, you know. Yes. <laughs> right, nobody will like this. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, it's interesting, I, I was in Washington, D.C. last weekend, yeah. and in front of the Treasury Building, where there is a statue. Yeah. of Alexander Hamilton and it's nothing but teenagers and kids that I have to think that a year or two ago you would have never found those children taking pictures of the statue of Alexander Hamilton. No, absolutely, because, you know, I think that most biographers and historians would say the same thing. You know, our readership is usually people 35 and 40 and up. Now I feel a little bit like the Pied Piper, having, you know, children following me down the street and kind of when I'm, you know, in the theater district uh, in, uh, in uh, Manhattan, uh, have... Teenage, teenage girls chasing me down the street <laughs> wanting me to autograph their playbills. So this is, needless to say, a unique experience in my life and a delightful For one. For someone with such a great story, why do you think he's the least known founding father that a lot of people didn't even know he was an immigrant? You no, know, I was actually, you know, I started working on the book in 1998, and one of the reasons I did, uh, it seems comical now, he was fading into obscurity. People saw that he was kind of a, a second or a third uh, string founding father. I think that one of the reasons was that, um, you know, his great adversary was Thomas Jefferson. You know, Jefferson became president. All his adversaries, Jefferson and Madison and Monroe, all became president. Hamilton obviously didn't. And, you know, the old saying that history is written by the the victors, yeah. you know, and for a long time it was the Jeffersonian view of history, so Hamilton is belatedly getting his, his comeback. 
Well, the book is called uh, Alexander Hamilton, Ron Cherno. The uh, show, of course, is at the Private Bank Theater uh, downtown. I'm sure it'll be playing here for the next 500 years. <laughs> Ticket sales are any indication. Broadwayinchicago.com for more information. Ron, thank you so much for that. Fabulous, fabulous company in Chicago. Oh, that's great. great to meet so you. nice to meet you. Same. Do you get a nickel for every performance? <laughs>